Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today I'm going to go solo on a brand new Rustern server and we're going to go from absolutely nothing to the highest tier load. IP port and Discord link of the server will all be in the description below. If you guys want an episode 2 on the server, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 300 likes. If we reach that goal, I will definitely do more. If you aren't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that button, we're getting really close to 22,000. Also in this video, there will be 5 coupon codes from the server market randomly put in the video. So make sure to watch the full video, each coupon code being 10 euros. This video we're going to roll a mythical giveaway and it's a freezing dissipator maple strike. So enter this mythical giveaway, make sure to like, subscribe and comment whatever you like. Channel members also have a higher chance to win this mythical and I also want to give a shout out to all of the members and the gifters for their support. If anyone watching this video right now wishes to become a member, the link is in the description below and let's get straight into the video. Alright, so I'm on a brand new Rostern server, I have absolutely nothing. Now this server has a ton of new cool features that I will want to show you throughout the video. Uh, we did spawn close to harbor which is pretty nice and uh, over here it gives us some pretty nice loot as well. So all we have is just two rocks, that's all we're going to start with. Obviously I'm going to loot harbor, try to get as much loot as possible, we're gonna pick up as much components as well. The server is like two times loot so it's not going to be high loot or any of that. And we get ourselves a couple of items. Now we do spawn with a building plan and, and I did get myself a ton of logs as well. Now something that we need on the server is a biohazard outfit. In order to get those, we're going to need to farm quite a ton of items for that. Speaking of, I need to get myself some storage because all I have is just a t-shirt that we spawn in with. Alright, so there's this box in the middle which I have absolutely... Oh well, it gives us key cards. Alright, we got ourselves a blue key card and a green key card. Nice, I'm pretty sure that uh, in real Rust those unlock certain areas. So I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen with those. Alright, so we do need the suture kits i'm gonna drop the logs for now because i have absolutely no space all right so something in the server which is pretty cool is that there are recyclers which if we do put all of these items in all of the components and we just punch it once all of those items will automatically turn into materials so hopefully something good from here we got ourselves some smg bodies some scrap and the pipe yeah we could put the smg bodies in here as well yeah, as you may see all of the rope was turned into cloth we got ourselves some high quality metal a ton of scrap so now scrap is useful in order to make blueprints all right, we made ourselves a bag and some pants. Alright there, now we finally have some storage. I'm gonna pick all of the items up, but if we press coma on the server, everything will go instantly into your inventory. Which is something really cool as well, I actually really really like that. Alright, so from here I don't think we can get any elite crates, but we did get ourselves a ton of components. Yeah, we're gonna pick up pretty much all of the components and then, and then put them in the recycler. Yeah, we're gonna need tarps as well. For now, I'm probably just going to put everything in the recycler though. And we got ourselves a double barrel shotgun, let's go, Ayo, our first weapon. I didn't even know those spawns from like normal crates. Alright, let's put everything we don't need. Now, as for the oil crude, I don't think that it works the same way with the recycler. I'm pretty sure that requires a furnace or something like that, which we will have to do later on. Alright, are these items ready? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, so my inventory is full, so we can't pick up everything, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to drop some items. Alright, so I'm gonna build the base somewhere around here. It's very close to harbor and the airfield. Now, something that is very, very nice as well is that we can build really quickly with the building plan. All we would need is just logs in our inventory, a building plan, which we do spawn in with. Now, I'm trying to put a pillar. Yeah, there we go. No, not a post. And later on, we're gonna need to build ourselves a hammer in order to upgrade from twig to wood and to other components that we'll get. Get. All right, all the pillars have been placed. Let's go. All right, next we gotta do a couple of walls. Now, if we don't upgrade these, they are actually really, really weak. Literally, anyone can punch them down. So if you guys do build a base on the server and you do not upgrade it, literally a naked can come by and break all of your items. And I'm going to need to get myself some more wood because I am completely empty. And the base is decaying. Nice. So we're gonna need to get ourselves a two cupboard. I completely forgot about that. I made ourselves a sleeping bag. Let's go. It's bed one. Let's get ourselves some more logs. All right, placing the four roofs. Let's go. Actually. I got myself quite a ton of logs this time. I made ourselves a hammer. Now we can start upgrading this. This feature is very, very cool. Sometimes you may have to click it 10 times, but... And I don't know how to escape. And my base just decayed. Nice. Wait, did it decay or did I actually demolish it all by mistake? Alright, no problem. Uh, let's just salvage the bed. Thankfully, the bed is still here. And we're gonna have to rebuild the whole thing. I have no idea what just happened. Alright, 2 by 2 base has been built. Again, I place the bed right over there. Now I'm gonna need to get myself some metal as well, actually. And still wood, because I'm out of wood. So that we can make ourselves a door and start making ourselves some storage as well. But I'm pretty sure we need to smelt that and we're gonna need furnaces for that. Now I actually have no idea how to actually craft a furnace. So we're gonna have to figure that out. 
All right, so I'm done from a wood drone. Got myself literally over 60, now 70 logs. So I'm currently upgrading the base to full wood. Even the pillars, we gotta upgrade those. I'm getting stoned to see what we need else in order to make ourselves a furnace. And we need low-grade fuel. Nice. I have absolutely none of that. So we're probably gonna have to go to harbor or airfield and just hit as much red barrels as possible. And hope that low-grade fuel actually spawns. Now, something cool about this map is that it's very, very informative. Each location has, like, a letter next to it, which tells you if there's radiation or, or it's a high tier area loot. Alright, so I'm gonna make myself a door. All I need is just three logs because I don't want anyone to roll up and get themselves some easy loot. I'm gonna put everything we don't need in here so that way if we die we don't lose them. Made myself another small box as well. Alright, so I'm de I've decided to go to the AR field actually. Over there, apparently we need a blue key card because there's a blue key card area so we'll take that. I don't know what kind of loot spawns there though. Oh, I hear a recycler in here actually. I got myself a road sign jacket vest. Let's go. We actually didn't the vest and what is this well it looks like all right well a refinery nice i'm gonna put these in here as well we did get ourselves a couple of components put all of the blades suture kits now as for the refinery i think we're gonna need ourselves some fuel and i'm pretty sure fuel equals wood out of fuel yeah yeah we gotta get ourselves uh some smg bodies a better t-shirt and some scrap we don't really need scrap right now i'm not really thinking about making blueprints oh yeah we got ourselves 20 logs let's go that should be more than enough i put like 10 crude oil in there now what i need is like eight in order to make myself a furnace back in base all right now we punch that this one here they're not doing anything yeah, it wasn't even on, that's why. Alright, and now we wait for both the furnace and the refinery to finish. We got ourselves a lot of low-grade fuel already, actually. We'll put ourselves some more fuel in there. And as for this, yeah, pretty much everything is done. Let's pick up everything. Let's stack everything, too. Right, we got ourselves a ton of metal fragments. And we got over 20 low-grade fuel. Oh, that's pretty nice. Alright, so we are back in base. Got myself enough fuel and enough stone to make myself a furnace. Now, I'll put this right over here. And there we go, now we can start smelting ores in our base as well. Pretty sure I'm gonna need wood for that though. And I don't know if it works if we stack them. I No, it doesn't work. The wood literally just turned into a stack of charcoal. No problem, we'll just put them in like that. Yeah, and it's working now. Alright, since we got ourselves metal frags, we can start making the big crates. Put everything in there. I can actually make more, to be honest, probably. Or we can actually upgrade base into metal. That's what I'm going to do, actually. There we go, we can also use... There we go, yeah, we got ourselves tree... Metal fragments, walls, and one high quality metal wall as well. Let's go. So I'm back in airfield for another component run. And last time we actually didn't go inside the blue key card area. I actually have to figure out where it is because I have no clue. But all of these items, they will be put into the recycler. We got ourselves a ton of components. Oh, well, that is actually a lot of items. Most of it is just scrap. Yeah, my inventory is definitely full. Oh, this is the entrance to the blue key card. Okay. Now all we have to do is literally just punch it. Hopefully some good loot in here, man. But it looks like there are some normal crates that are detached. Tech trash, we'll take those metal pipe. There's another key card box here. I think they all spawned green. Oh, landmine and the custom SMG, let's go. Better than a double barrel. Bunch of components. And there's a leak crate here, all right, perfect. And we got ourselves an alarm and the metal che chest plate. Uh, that's actually a really, really good one. Usually I get complete garbage from those. Got ourselves another custom SMG too. And there's another one. Come on, man, give me something good. And it's not breaking. All right, broke. Yeah, this one was bad. We got ourselves a saw, chainsaw and the double barrel. Yeah, we got lucky with the alar one. All right, let's go. Now, my blue key card actually vanished. I don't know if we can only use it once. Hopefully, we can get out of here, actually. Yeah, it's actually gone. Nice. Okay, well, I think it's a one-time use thing then. Can we get out of here, though? That's the real question. Oh, yeah, we can. All right. And it automatically closes, like, three seconds later. Nice. All right, so we're back in base. I'm gonna put the landmine right over there, so if somebody's running past, he could easily explode. I'm gonna put all of the extra guns that I got in, in my crates, obviously. Now, next thing what I'm going to try to do is get myself full biohazard outfit, which for that, we're going to need tarps, sewing kits, I th I, and I'm pretty sure that's it. We don't really need that much items, because you because they're not that hard to find, actually. All we need to do is just not recycle them with everything. That, that's what really what I'm doing. Now, for filters, we're going to need tech trash, which I do have a couple. But we obviously do need more. And we can actually upgrade our backpack. All we need, yeah. We, we, let, we literally can. All I need is 20 high quality metal, which I have right over here. And a bag, which I already had one, but I made another one. Yeah, and we need high quality metal for the hazmat outfit as well, which is not that hard to do. And for night vision, we just need tech trash and high quality metal. Yeah, we could literally make them very, very easily. And there we go. We got ourselves a better backpack. And the storage is like two times better. Let's go.
Alright, so I did pretty much almost get all of the tarp and sewing kits that I need. Now, what I'm going to need as soon as I'm in base is farm myself some high quality metal because I think I used them all on the backpack. Uh, we are back in base. Got myself pants and the helmet already. Now, I'm not sure if it's just the helmet that we need in order to go inside dead zones. But just to be safe, I am going to get myself a whole outfit. I'm pretty sure we get ourselves even more storage anyway. So it's completely fine. I also did get myself a red key card from the harbor as well. So if we do go to the launch site, which is the highest, which is the best area to get loot we can get ourselves some really really good items all right so i got myself 10 high quality metal and 10 logs which is what i need in order to make myself the last remaining items of the biohazard out outfit and now we wait a bit so that they would all smell all right and that should be more than enough all right we got ourselves the backpack let's go now all we need left is the shirt and for that we're gonna need ourselves a couple of sewing kits which i should have somewhere in my base yeah, there we go. We got ourselves the final one. And we got ourselves the shirt. And we got ourselves full hazmat. Let's go. Now we're looking sexy. Right, so I'm gonna make myself a couple of filters as well. There we got two. Probably make myself some storage, actually. I'm starting to get full. I'm gonna take one red key card with me just in case I decide to go to launch site. I actually have no idea where I'm going to go. But some areas that I want to go is I want to go into military tunnels. I want to go in the subway. And obviously in the launch site. I'm pretty sure for the military tunnels, though, we're going to need ourselves a night vision. Which I don't have for now. All right, we're going to go inside the subway. Hopefully we don't need night vision for this actually. It seems like there's lights everywhere. Oh. Oh, that was a zombie. For a second, I thought it was a player. I didn't know zombies spawned down here. All right, well, these zombies aren't dropping anything. So that's good to know. They're completely useless. And we are in the subway. And this is actually... No, let's kill this though. This is actually huge. All right, let's start farming crates. We got ourselves a python and tech trash. Let's go. We can make night vision probably then. All right, so I'll probably spend the next 20 minutes farming inside the subway. There's actually so much elite crates down here. This is literally probably the best location to get good loot. It's actually really, really big. I've been running around already for five minutes. Found myself like four elite crates already there's a ton of zombies though but they're completely weak they don't really do anything now i'm not sure if down here there are any like blue key card locations yeah, there's another elite crate here an armored door let's go and yeah, most of the zombies can't even chase me because they're like down there and they couldn't get up here there's another military box here and another elite crate oh, just a forex scope from this i oh, could put that on my lr though another military crate there's another there's literally another elite crate down here if you guys are going to play on the server, this is the best area to go to. You don't need any biohazard clothes or any of that. We got ourselves a Thompson. Right, so the subway entrance is down there. So we literally... The subway is literally almost half the whole map. It's so big. Another LA crate. Come on, man. Give me a C4 or something. Now we got ourselves a pump shotgun and the landmine. Nice. All right, boys. We are back from a really, really good blue trunk. Got myself way too much SMGs, actually. Got myself a salvaged pickaxe, a salvaged axe as well. I'm going to craft myself night vision while I'm at it, so, so that we can actually go inside the military tunnels. All right, yeah. We're going to go straight to military tunnels. And I ran into my own landmine. Nice. All right, we are in the dead zone. I actually started from a while back. I think it's just the helmet that... That's enough, though. We did get ourselves night vision, so there's a... What is this? Oh. Oh, okay. They actually... Alright, well, there are bots that actually shoot back. Nice. Oh, we had 556 five, ammo. Damn, he almost killed me, actually. I'm literally bleeding out. Alright, he had an explosive. And I'm dead. Alright, well, these bots are stronger than I thought, honestly. Actually, three shots and it killed me. I completely just screwed myself over because I have absolutely no gas masks or any of that. So I'm just gonna go there, run straight towards my loot, and wear the clothes. Hopefully I don't die by the time I get there. Jesus Christ, those bots, those bots are strong. They're even better than unturned players. Alright, so I'm here. I'm dying from radiation. Oh, I'm probably gonna die, actually. Please, the loot is still here. Oh no, we're good. I was just the gas mask that I needed. I didn't need the whole outfit. Nice. So that's a huge waste. I'm kind of scared from these bots now, actually. Oh, and he's dead. I'm, I'm actually not prepared for this. I didn't get enough ammo or any of that. I'm gonna go back to base, man. I honestly don't wanna, don't wanna lose risking all of this loot. And I'll come back. Better prepared. Yeah, yeah. Hell no, dude. I'm not staying there. <laughs> Those bots are actually insane. Alright, I'm back. I actually need to be quick because I did leave some loot inside, such as the filter. Yeah, they didn't respawn as well. Some is right there. And he's dead. Another one dead. Alright, two explosives. All right, let's just try to kill them out. Dead as well. Ah, oh, yeah, there's some of my load. The rifle 665 ammo filter, metal spring. Right, hopefully, we get ourselves some good loot from this, and it's not actually a huge waste. Oh, yeah, my guy has literally an aimbot. I'm going to bleed out probably. 
Yeah, the coffee helmet, let's go. Alright, let's med up. Another coffee helmet grenade. Alright, well, so now the only good loot I've got is honestly just the explosives. Oh, there's a guy there. Alright, he's dead. I am actually paranoid from these guys. They have literal aimbot, so... Probably as soon as they spot me, I'm gonna get three shot to the head. Components, I hear steps, so that means there's one of them very, very close. I have no idea where. Oh, he's right below me. Hello. He's actually crazy though, there's literal AI bots that shoot you. He's dead. Alright, well, they're not that strong, honestly. I guess the one that killed me just was a lucky one. Alright, let's fill up our 5.56 ammo again and pistol ammo. Alright, we gotta try to shoot them from far away, actually. Alright, but this is a really, really cool concept. I never saw this actually play out in Unturned. Another one there. Let's run away, pop our filter. They could have shot me, probably. Alright, so it's three shot headshot for them to die, which is actually a lot, to be honest. Since, especially since it's with an LR. Alright, we got a syringe. Let's go. We could actually make a blueprint out of that. That's really, really important. Another syringe. There's a, w There's a bot here. He's dead. Some more components. He's dead as well. Alright, we're doing this really easily now. Right. Oh, there's a guy in here. Hello. And my guy just shot me through the door. What? Alright, well... Now I definitely can't get those items back because they're f too far deep. Unless I make myself a cosmos really quickly. Which I have absolutely no components for. Bro, that bot literally shot me through the door. I mean, I was doing the same thing to him, but... Alright, well, we just lost everything. Wall hacks. Alright boys, I should have everything to make myself a gas mask, but it took me a while, so probably the loot might have already despawned. I need high quality metal. Hopefully I have enough actually. One, two. Yeah, I have enough. Alright, gas mask and we'll run straight back. Now I died next to the blue key card entrance, so I'll run straight there. Hopefully everything is still there. And hopefully I don't die. Alright boys, well, everything has despawned. My gas mask is about to run out. So we took an L here. These elite crates have absolutely nothing. Alright, well, we should have probably came better prepared next time. I didn't expect them to be this strong, but we will probably come back anyway. Just have to regrind a bit. Get myself some filters, some guns, and some ammo. Yeah, everything is... Look at him, he's still in there. Everything is gone. Alright, well, we're back for another subway run because honestly, the loot that we got from here was better than military tunnels and it is less dangerous. Literally got myself an empty rocket launcher, so that should tell you guys something. Alright, currently recycling a lot of items that I've got. Alright, so my next step is probably going to try to go inside launch site. Now over there, I'm not sure if there are AI bots as well. A lot of items are falling on the ground, actually. We got ourselves a ton of high quality, though, and a ton of scrap. Because in there is the only location where the red key card is used. So I don't know what kind of loot spawns there because it is the, the highest tier. So I'm probably going to get C4 and stuff like that. I'm also going to make myself a couple more furnaces so that we can smelt quicker than just using one. Alright, so I'm gonna make myself a jackhammer as well. It's much easier to use than a pickaxe. All we needed was like a couple of metals, some gear, so nothing that Im insane. I also made myself the tier 2 backpack once again too. Now something really cool about this server is that randomly at some at certain points a helicopter will crash like the real rust and inside this helicopter it will be randomly spawned somewhere on the map and inside of it it will have actually really really good loot and apparently it's going to happen in like less than four minutes now and we're obviously trying to go get it because i don't know what kind of loot spawns inside of it but hopefully something really really good i don't know maybe like c4 or rocket launchers that would actually be really insane Alright, so this is the helicopter that I was talking to you guys about. Hopefully something good, actually. Yeah, storage and... Yeah, it's okay. M249, a bunch of attachments, LRAK and the rocket. Alright, not too bad. I guess the M249 is the best item that we've gotten. Now we'll go back to base and depot. Alright, so we're in launch site. I got myself the red key card and gas mask. It's apparently a toxic area, but I don't know. It doesn't seem toxic yet. Ourselves a landmine, let's go. There's a recycler here, so we could put those in there. Now, maybe the radiation area is the red key card area. I'm not entirely sure. I find myself the entrance to the red area first, actually. Alright, any. Alright, well, I'm just going to honestly take the high quality metal. I don't really need the metal scrap. Alright, so maybe this building is the red key card area, actually. It seems like it could be it. And yeah, it is. Alright, yeah, dead zone is in here. Alright, so it's not the whole area that's a dead zone. That's good. Alright, yeah, this is actually massive. There's a key card thing here. And there's a red crate. Now in real Rust, this crate would actually have a ton of loot. I don't know if this is the same case. But I'm gonna hit it. Hopefully it doesn't actually take a lot. And hopefully this one has some good loot too. I've been hitting this for a while. Maybe I should shoot it down. 
and it broke. Oh yeah, there's actually okay. Yeah, there's a lot of loot. We got ourselves a boaty blueprint and grenade launcher. There's three more grenade launchers. AK, SAR, LR. Oh yeah, this is what they mean when they say high tier loot. I'm going to strip though. I don't really need that much. All right, we got ourselves a metal chest piece as well. All right, so I'm gonna try to get to the top. I think that's where more loot will be. We got ourselves a locker. Alright, so we are at the very top. Yeah, there are a couple of loot crates here. A SAR, Salvage Dax. And this one has a double barrel Thompson. Alright, so the best loot of this is actually at the very bottom, which is that red crate. Other than that, we really didn't get anything that good. I guess the grenade launcher, though, makes up for it. But you don't need to be extremely prepared to come here. Literally, just the cost mask would be enough. Because all you would need to do is just run in, get the red crate, and run out. Alright, well, we're gonna go back to base. I am really happy with what we got. A ton of PvP guns, grenade launcher, lockers. And we got another blueprint so well alright everybody that's going to be it for this video I really hope you enjoyed we pretty much got from completely naked to having literally almost all of the load that you can get on rust End. now again if you guys do want to play on the server IP port and the discord link will all be in the description below thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye